<laughs> Welcome to Welcome. the Welcome Q&A. Yep. So we're here to answer all of your questions. The nicest compliment that we received in the 2017 edition was Oh my god, there was so much to do, I wish I could have done it all. And of course, the experience that we are creating, we want everybody to experience as much and as yeah. nice things as possible. Definitely. So a lot of people requested downtime. A lot of people requested <laughs> we would at least like like five minutes between speakers yeah. so we can go Breaks. to the bathroom and get a drink. So what we have done this year is we have um, compiled an extremely exciting program for you but with downtime. So there is like 15 or 20 or 30 minutes between speakers. There is time for lunch. There is just time to make sure that yeah. you can do everything and still not be totally exhausted yeah. on something. And also please do know that of course we offer a big program. You have uh, lectures and talks and workshops and events. And there's of course shopping and maybe swapping and making friends to do. But you don't have to do everything. No. If you want to, you can hand pick your sort of specific events that you want to go to and then um, maybe not do everything. That is super fine. On the 28th of January, we will have more tickets on sale. So that's going to be really exciting to see how many more Planner fans will join us in Brussels in May. Okay. Most important question of the day. Lisa, look at my glitter queen has already stacked up on the most yeah. fabulous Here's, confetti. Here you go. Oh my god. Yeah. Like in, in, in planner con I'm going to throw it, by the way. Are you, you're going to clean it up as well, Yeah, right? I will. So one, two, three. This is the only, the only confetti slash glitter that you will see. Okay, one, two, three. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, why is this only happening at the desk here and is this not happening at planner con? <laughs> okay, this, uh, this is... <laughs> Last year, well, the last time, so in 2017, it's already a year and a half ago, um, we, we baptized <laughs> the entire venue with <laughs> glitter. We had people tossing glitter around like they were sewing seats. Yeah. And it was the most amazing thing. And our pictures that we took then will last in our hearts forever. Yeah. There's glitter everywhere. I still well, find also glitter the, in my I car. I wanted to say the glitter is going to last forever, which is also... It's still in my car. It is still. <laughs> I still find glitter as well, which is sort of a I reason think. as well why we rethought confetti and glitter. Confetti. Um, also in relation to the, to the venue, they... Um, <laughs> Are you going to tell them or not? No, I mean, no, they, they loved how it looks, but they didn't love how it was to clean up we had i'm not going to specify the amount but we had several thousands of euros in added cleaning costs added to our bill yeah because the glitter broke the escalator yeah um the escalator completely blocked the yeah. carpets in all the rooms were stacked with glitter and still there is we were there today there is still glitter in the carpet yeah and it cost them they they gave us a complete glitter and even confetti ban <laughs> trying to find um, planner appropriate alternatives definitely to we have some ideas decoration and we have some great ideas for yeah. that so you'll see when you enter the venue what we have decided yeah to do. definitely so no glitter no confetti please don't bring any enjoy the view that would be amazing, amazing. but we're not organizing we that. <laughs> We're building up yeah. on Friday, so we have absolutely no Definitely. time. I wish we could. So on the Friday evening or the Saturday evening or sort of whenever, I mean, midnight party in room 500, please do. Be sure to... Yeah, awesome. You, do it. Use, it. use the ticket holders group if you're yeah. organizing something and you want to see if people are interested in coming. Use the ticket Definitely. holders group and post and, and have fun and send us yeah. lots of pictures. And please tell us where, because if we're not too tired, we might sort of jog, <laughs> jog towards in you. In receive a badge or a bracelet or something to identify that you're part of our event yes. when you want to go outside that's fine but if you want to come back make sure you are shoot. wearing the thing on your body <laughs> because the security guard are instructed to check if you have yes. some sort of uh, our form of events identification on you without that you're unable to enter so also from saturday to sunday but if you want to yeah. like, take a breather and go Gosh, buy some Belgian chocolates, 
super fine, do it. Um, but also make sure that you do not lose no, or we cannot, forget we, or misplace or whatever. That's and, an important point. If you lose your means of identification, we will make sure that it will not easily be lost. Yeah. But if it's lost, we cannot replace it because we cannot have unidentified people coming in with somebody else's bracelet or with somebody yeah. else's necklace or whatever we're going to hash, Definitely. identifying hash, whatever we're thinking of to give you. Washi, washi crown. Washi crown. <laughs> um, so make sure that you don't uh, lose it. No. Same thing with your ticket. It can only be scanned once. So you can't make copies or hand it out to anybody else. No, definitely. Um, please also know that at any point during the weekend, people, security or us, may ask for your identification. Yep. We can ask for your passport at any time. So if you want to leave it at the hotel, that is fine. Just bring a copy, put it in your bag. Yep. Um, we have to send a list because we're a big event. We have hundreds of people coming. We have to send the list of yep. all the attendees to the police. So they know who is in the building just in case anything happens. So yeah. at any point you need to be able to identify yourself. Yeah. Just make sure that you have a copy of your passport at least in yeah. your bag. I mean, you thought planning was a serious business, but planning and a planner <laughs> event is serious it's business. Really Sorry, serious. just making a bad joke. The police does not understand what we are doing, but they laughed at the... So there are hundreds of women coming yeah. to do what? Definitely. Exactly? What? Wait, what? What? With stickers and what? The program will start on Saturday around 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. and end at 6 p.m. And on Sunday, we will probably start a bit earlier on the day and also end a bit earlier. The program is between 10 and 6 approximately. Six on Saturday. That doesn't mean that we um, expect you to arrive at 10. We will uh, expect you to arrive a lot sooner, but we will, <laughs> we will communicate that yeah. closer today. So we will be open like one or two early um, hours before. Um, to make sure that everybody can go through the check-in system. Yep. Important. Very important. important question. So this we do know. Yes, this we do know. So <laughs> I'll, I'll work from, from the very last moment back. Doors will close at 5.30 so on this, Sunday. Sorry, yeah. On, sun, on Sunday, Sunday only. Only on Sunday. <laughs> the doors will close at 5.30 and everybody will go home and be sad that that was the end of the best weekend of our lives ever. But then that means that before that, it was very important, we got a lot of nice feedback last yep. time, that people missed like a sort of goodbye moment with everybody that was still there and had like a proper closure. Yep. So we are having a closure moment and you'll have to see what that entails between 4 and 4.30 on Sunday. So we hope that the people that are catching trains and planes around 6 and 7 p.m. Yep. will still have time to attend like the closing moment at 4. Yep. So between half past four and half past five when the doors will close yeah. you will have like 30 minutes to say your goodbyes do some final shopping and then from about five we will very nicely ask people to start leaving <laughs> to start packing, you know finally. gathering your stuff um taking all the swaps with you that yes. you still have and make sure that we can close all the doors and start cleaning up and um giving the venue back to the lovely venue owners <laughs> Five minutes yep. and an, an hour. hour yeah yeah and we are looking into having smaller workshops they will be probably like a 15 to 20 minutes yes we honestly don't know yet at the moment and it is something that we are yeah. looking into but it is well if, if we repeat talks so if we say for example uh, Little Lot is holding a talk about, I don't know what. Um, <laughs> um, it would be nice to do that both on the Saturday and on the Sunday and offer you the option to choose when you want to attend the speech, but that means that we're taking a slot away from another speaker. So only if we have slots left, yep. I think, um, we will look at the program and see we if there's double. anything that yep. we can double. <laughs> well, I think you have to just have to wait and see. I think this deserves a little bit of confetti. Go ahead, Mela. You will have to wait. You will and have see. to wait and see. <laughs> so that's, a cool, that's, that's it is in the same building, same building. <laughs> but it's, I think that's an interesting Two question. Floors. Yeah. So the shopping area is downstairs. You need to go up one floor, then you're in the registration area, and nice. then you need to go up one floor where the lecture halls are. Um, so it's 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 very compact. 
very easy to find. It's as very well. easy to you get lost. find. We will provide maps. I am not kidding. Not and <laughs> and uh, we will help no. and sort you out and make sure you can find everything. Yes, and we'll be volunteers pointing you in the right direction. Yeah. Whenever you so that depends on the booth um, on the store themselves. So they can either accept um, cash or debit cards or credit cards or PayPal or a combination of any of the above. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we will provide a list uh, beforehand so you yeah. know. But just to be safe, um, also the, by the way, important, the bar also accepts both yes. cash and cards. No yeah. PayPal, no debit cards. and credit, <laughs> so that's good. So it would be good to have a little of both. Yeah. It will depend on the vendor. Yeah. I will be sure to post on social media locations of cash machines yes. where you can get euros. Yes, I think the closest buy would be in the station, probably. which is probably like yeah. underneath the, the, the venue. But I will make sure to yeah. have a list for you somewhere. No. no. Everything Shopping is open. area will be open between a set amount of hours and it will be continuously open yeah. because there might be speakers or workshop or talks that some people do not want to attend yes. and we cannot... No, you're not, not you're not shopping obliged. and enjoying themselves downstairs. And you're not obliged no. to do anything. If you just want to sit at one of our tables and write in your planner for two consecutive yeah. days, you can. You will get your goodie bag on Saturday morning. And yes, you, you have to carry it around. You have to, you have to carry it around. I mean, you're in a way you're free to go to your hotel and, and drop, it drop it off. Yes. Um, in relation to this, there might be coupons inside yes. for handing in at a booth to get stuff. More good days. Uh, this is something that we're still working on, so at this moment in time we cannot confirm or deny. Yes. Um, but yeah, you will get your goodie bag and logistically you will have to carry it with you. Um, th the thing is, we got quite some questions about those coupons, like wouldn't it be more practical to just have all the goodies in the bag already and not have to mess around with coupons? The thing is, A, we don't choose that, so the vendors choose themselves how they want to present their present, yep. when they want to yep. present their present to you. Secondly, like last year we had the Leuchtturm booth and they had like a gift that you could personalize at the booth. <laughs> We have different areas within the venue that are part of our event. So for instance, downstairs there's a shopping area, but there will be also tables and chairs where you can sit, sort of sure. have a breather. It will not be da -da 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 all the time. And also in the sort of area where you come in, the registration area, it is more chilled. There are less people there. So you're yes. welcome to come and hang with us because there's always going to be one crew member there or volunteer. Um, the, the venue is the area that we are using is also bigger so in a sense there will be places where there are less people yes. but we do not have a designated area no but with quiet no but on, quiet the other hand, on the other hand it will be may yeah and it will yes. be warm and brussels is amazing in the spring yes. and you can go outside and sit on the big staircase in front of the That's venue perfect. you can go to yeah. the grand place to the to the big market space sit there you said that so belgium <laughs> to the grand place the grand place to the grand place mm -hmm. to the and the, market in Dutch. yeah and the royal palace is sort of close by and there is a gorgeous park the yeah. parc royal i want to say it's in french yeah. the varande park if you if it's in dutch um that's also gorgeous especially in may know that lunch is not included you can buy your own lunch because there are people who have allergies or different dietary restrictions and that is something that we um, well wanted to give to people themselves yeah so we do provide lunch at the venue but you have to buy it yourself so there will be a big bar where you can buy all kinds of soups and salads yep. and sandwiches and, and, and drinks tea as well yeah so there is there is uh, there is drinks uh, from the morning the entire day there are drinks available and the food is only available between 11 and 3. And 3, yeah. We so discussed you, that today. So if you're projecting a little bit of hunger by 4 o'clock, it would be wise that you buy something at the bar a bit yeah, earlier. Yeah, definitely. Already. The venue has really upped their game in the yes. um, different uh, flavors and choices that you have. Not just on vegetarian, vegan, lactose, gluten, etc. But also really on just the general selection Quality. of drinks and food. Yeah. Thank you for 
for I distinguishing think, the non-alcoholic. I, I think we need more, we need more confetti, confetti because, um, because, because we can. One. Yay! Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, we asked today because we explained to people <laughs> that we cannot expect um, hundreds of planner fans yeah, coming in definitely. and not having a bottle of water when you need to take medication yeah. or you just are easily dehydrated have some or you have on you for sugar yeah you need something for your sugar we cannot ask people to yeah. halfway through a talk disturb the speaker walk to the the bar and get something so the answer is yes you can bring a bottle of water yeah you can bring a snack please don't bring exuberant buffets we have <laughs> we have to we have catering, yeah, but okay. um, you can buy something at the venue. But if you want to bring a snack or a bottle of water or something else to drink or something sugary, definitely uh, a piece of fruit, bring it with you. Yes and no. Mm -hmm. There is time for you, more time than last year, where yes. there's downtime, where you can have like a break for yourself, so get some food. Sandwich. Even you know, walk out of the venue and come back. Um, we have to remember that. So yeah. there is break time, but for for us and sort of to give you the best possible experience at the event, um, it is important that there is sort of continuous programming. Yes. So we decided to still book all to use all the slots that we have. So yes. there is no specific time, for instance, between twelve and one, mm -hmm. where there is no program. Because you're free to choose when you want to eat, there what is, you want to yeah. eat. There are moments when and there is nothing, but there's yeah. not like two hours of break. And also, we cannot have like a couple of hundred people queuing at the no. bar at the same time. No. So just make sure that you have something in your bag. But we have like a half an hour increments that yes, are free between, with, between speakers, 15 minutes, a half an hour sometimes. So there's lots of time to sit yeah. down and eat. Definitely. bags will be checked at the door but they will not be strict at all on anything no. food uh, weapons on the other hand of course not allowed not allowed so sorry. we did mention <laughs> weapons related sort of we did mention that we are crafters yes. so that there will be scissors, we need scissors and people might have like crafting knives with them um, they know that that will be the case that is okay oh, and also we again as last year requested female um yeah security, security guards. guards yeah because not just because they were fabulously amazing but also we planners. are all sorry gentlemen most of us are women so it is always nice to if yes. you if they need to search your bag you know in sort of a worst case scenario if yes. they would need to search you you've I, I personally would prefer to have a woman do a it. A woman do that. So, so we have asked, it's not completely women, there are men for the men as well. <laughs> the, the majority of security guards yeah. will be female. And last year they were so um, in love with our event, they went yes. down and bought planners. They become planner people. I we mean, love those ladies, they have to come back this year. Yeah. So we have um, escalator. That's actually, remember this, escalator, escalator. and lifts. There is parking garage underneath the venue and there are a lot of toilets. I mean, there's going to be people there, a lot of people, so we need lots of toilets. And um, a food and drink bar. Yes. And there will be security. Lots of security. We will be there if you need anything. Yes. I want to say that is it. Oh, we do have a sort of cloak room. We have cloak. a cloak room. Um, it is, there is no security guard at the cloak room, so it's at your own risk. But yeah. We have an area with coat hangers and with space where you can put your luggage if you want, but it's at your own risk. Yeah. So just be sure to lock your cases when you put them there, just yeah. so nobody gets in. You will be, you, you're free to leave your yes. luggage or your jackets or whatever you want to leave there, but it will be, again, at your own risk. Uh, we, we, there is no um, possibility of... Um, yeah, the insurance doesn't. The, cover yeah, the insurance, the insurance cannot cover it, so we cannot. We would, we would need to send a list of the of the contents of every possible suitcase for hundreds of people, so that is not yeah. possible. Okay. But you are yeah. free to leave it there, and of course there are security guards in the building, and it's all good planner people. I don't yeah. expect if you lock your bag, I'm not really no. worried that anything could happen. No, but again, besides not being worried, it is at your own risk. Yes. So please take that into account. <laughs> We have staircases, yes. please use those. We have escalators, please use those. And elevators. And we have lifts or elevators. Don't use those. Please don't use those. <laughs> um, last year, if you yeah. can me, last year we yeah. had, um, we have hundreds of people at this event and everybody wants to get to the speakers and the shopping halls as quickly as possible. Yeah, definitely. But we have people that are less able than some of the rest of us. The elevators, we also talked about this with the people of the yeah. venue and the security yeah, people. Yeah, definitely. The elevators are only, 
for either staff, either booth holders, yeah, so vendors, vendors yeah. or less able people. Um, I do want to add as well, if there is uh, women with nursing babies and they sure. have a pram, if you have a pram, you can use as the well. elevator, but everybody else has got to use either the escalators or the, the staircases. staircases. Yep. Um, we would like and appreciate if it is in any way possible that you let us know up front yep. if you would like to use the elevators, just so we know who can and who can't, and so we can instruct the security yep. guard people who will be operating the elevators, um, just so there is no miscommunication at the yep. event. So if you want to use the elevators during the event, that is perfectly fine. Just send us a quick email and we will yep. put you on the list. That's fine. And it's not that you have to give us a call every time you want to use a lift. No. It is just that we have an estimation of roughly how many people yes. will be using the lift. Yeah. Wow, that is a good that question. Is... No yeah. question. No. No? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes and no. Yeah, that's Being true. Okay. No, we have no designated charge your phone area which with locker which is kind of kind of bad for our instagram feed. We, 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 we would be in something to remember for next year i think but every vendor has electricity hubs yeah so you can always re ask really, really really nicely, nicely. If any of the vendors but again it's at your own risk if you yeah. want to leave your phone unattended my advice would be bring just bring a spare battery <laughs> That is like the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> so to a few, to for a short um, explanation, we last year we had a swaps table just after you came in. There was this mm -hmm. big area. I think it was actually eight tables to be honest. It was, it was not huge. one. It was like it was this huge, huge area of tables, and uh, everyone who had stuff that was in good quality and still sort of usable, mm -hmm. but they didn't want anymore, they could pop on the table, and pe other people could take it take away. It so it was like a re-gifting table or a swaps table yeah. or a de-stash table or a random act of kindness table, however you want to call it. Bring your stuff yes. that is still nice and usable, leave it on the table. And grab something else. And grab something else if you want to. Also, so everything that was left, we actually donated to a, a local school. So even if you're... If there, if you, you do take stuff, but do know that we didn't throw everything away no. or something. We're going to have to post that picture. I still have that picture from oh, the kids from the school. Oh, you we'll have post to. it on social oh, media. Amazing. Um, also, what some people are doing, what I've read in the groups, is that people are making like tiny swap gifts That's to true. give to each other yeah, as well. Definitely. So not everything on the table, but people are making like small swap gifts with their business card yeah, in there, with their Instagram well. name and everything. Yeah to hand out to people that they meet at the event, so use your creativity. Yeah, and, uh, definitely. I mean, planner friends make the best of friends, right? <laughs> all right, that was the final piece of confetti and the fin final piece of glitter. Yeah. I hope we answered all of your questions. Um, if not, pop them in the comments and we will film another Q&A in a couple of definitely. weeks. Definitely. And um, I think... Um, we're super excited to yeah. see you in a couple of weeks at PlannerCon Europe. And um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.